Hey, hello everyone. So today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use IBM Watson visual recognition scale in Blue Prism. So with version 6.4 onwards, they have added support of a file with the extension .bpscale. You won't be able to import this file in older versions. Hence, you have to use either 6.4 or a later version of Blue Prism. Before you start, you have to go to console.bluemix.net and create an account on this website. Once you're done creating the account, click on catalog and click on AI on the left hand side. Scroll down and click on this service, visual recognition. Now, you have to create this service in order to get the API key, which is going to be used in credentials. So click on create. Now click on manage. Here you are going to get the API key. Click on show credentials and copy this API key in a text file. Now go to Blue Prism and before you create the process, you have to first import a BP skill, which is visual recognition. And second one is IBM authentication BP release, which will generate an access token, which is going to be used while using this service. So go to system credentials and open this credential IBM vision. This would be automatically created once you import that BP skill. So in the token, just copy paste that API key and click on OK. Now you are ready to create your process so as to use IBM Vision, Vision Skill. Go to Process Studio. So this is the process I have already created. I would explain to you how I have created it. So before you use this skill, you have to generate one token. This token would be valid just for one hour. So if you use the token after one hour, you have to generate it again. So I have taken one action and the business object is IBM authentication. There is only one action in this. So use the action authenticate. Here you have to copy paste the name of the credential in which you copy pasted the API key for the service you just created few minutes back. Go to output. Just create all these outputs. And the most important one is this one access token. Click on OK. Now, in order to classify the images, I have already downloaded two images. So one is of these dogs, second one is of plants. So we would be using visual skill on these two images. So take one calc stage and use this option, use this command uh, function, load binary file. Now I have to go to my image and shift right click, right click so that I can use copy as path. Now paste the complete file location here and click on paste. You can directly type also here. Click on OK. Now I have stored this value in a data item called binary file name. Now when you use VBO, you just take one action and specify the business object and the action inside it. With the introduction of skills, Blue Prism has made a slight change how you're going to use those skills in comparison to VBOs. So whenever you import a skill, you can see them in system skills. So I'm going to use this skill, IBM Watson Vision. Create a new process and when you want to use that skill, select the category in which that skill falls and drag and drop it here. So I've already dragged it, so I'm not going to drag it again. This one is the skill I'm using. Now, double click on it and use the API as Orson visual recognition and action is classify image. Now this is the access token which is going to be generated by this action and the data item is this one. So I've already dragged it and specified it here. In the gateway you can just give the value as gateway and in the file you have to specify the data item which is containing the binary file name. So this is the data item. I have specified it here. Let's go to output. So you can create all these outputs 
with the same name or if you wish you can change the name and then create the output let's click ok now let's click reset and run our process Okay, so our process is successfully completed. So the first image which I specified was of these dogs. Let's go to the output and check what have we got in the output result. So the first uh, output which you get a response headers. So this is a bit technical information. You may not be finding it useful very much. So go to the collection name classes. Go to current values. Now here you can see how Watson has analyzed the image and given, uh, given us the result. So you see this image is of three dogs and in the output is a, it has given us some rows like Rhodesian Ridgeback Dog, Dog Domestic Animal, Animal Blood Hound, Hound Dog, Sleuth and Light Brown Color. So always remember whatever output you get with Watson, there would be a score between 0 to 1 along with it. So whichever value is the highest, that one is the most accurate one. So you see domestic animal has a value 0.9 also dog has a value 0.9 along with that you can notice that dogs were of light brown color hence these three values are very accurate let's click on ok let's use this on a different image so i would shift right click copy as path let's go to my calc stage and i would just replace the file location here Let's click on OK, reset and then run. OK, let's go to classes and verify our result. OK, so this is pretty accurate. We have some plants with the pods in this image. And let's see what Watson has given us the output. OK, so it has given plant, Racina might be the plant type. Desert plant tree, greenish color, jade green color. So you see, it's very much accurate and it has given you an accurate result. So you can use this skill and experiment with different images. Also, like classifying image, you, there's one more action in this uh, skill, which is detect faces. So in this detect faces, you will get the output. When you specify a image of a person, it will give you some output like age, gender, and where is the face located in the image. So you can try and experiment with this. Thanks a lot for watching.